This movie is called Kurosa. It's a French word that means curiosities. Dealing with sensual subject, Kurosa is a period film set in Paris around the end of 19th century. And it starts with a man named Perry Lewis watching three sisters of the Harrier family as they prepare themselves in front of one-way mirror. These sisters are named Mary, Lucy, and Helen. Their father, Joyce Maria Herdia, enters the room and tells Barry to stop checking on her daughters as he needs to meet with them soon. Barry is a poet and also a family friend of Herdia's, and he seems to be very comfortable around the girls, so much that he seems to be crossing the line. He kisses the girls and touches their ways to one too many times. The girl's mother, Madam Herdia, tells Perry to leave her daughters alone and says that he is stubborn. Perry's best friend named Harry de Renier is also present as he is looking for a girl to marry as well. Henry is also a poet and Helen tries to impress him by reciting poetry to him. Madame escorts Henry and Helen inside the room and she asks Mary to serve tea to them. Mary leaves to get some tea and Paris follow her. When they are in the hallway, they start flirting with each other and when they are about to kiss, Madame walks in on them. Henry receives a letter from Paris saying that he is also likes Mary. He also states that in order to avoid this brewing rivalry between them, they need to tell Mary about the sheer love. Henry seems uncomfortable with Perry later. Mary talks to an excited Helen and she tells her that Henry will definitely take good care of her. Their mother enters the room and tells them that Henry chooses Mary to be his wife, which surprises both of them. Mary leaves the room with the mother, leaving Helen crying inside. Henry is a rich man and Mary sees him giving a huge amount of dowry to her parents. The wedding has eventually taken place even if Mary does not love Henry Lee. A few years later, in 1897, Paris is now back in Paris from a trip to Algeria. He confronts Henry about him not agreeing with what he stated in this letter. Henry tells Perry that his love for Mary is greater and stronger than his. He adds that his love for Mary is strong enough to win their friendship. Perry tells Henry that love is a gratification of the senses. Back home, Henry tells Mary that he met Perry early and Mary seems excited about hearing that Perry is back in the city. Henry adds that Perry brought an Algerian with him and the claims he is amused excitement immediately turns into the sadness across Mary's face. Perry along with the other his friends hangs around with the Algerian woman named Zohar. Perry takes picture of candid and sensual picture of Zohar and his friends. One day Mary visits Perry at his place. Perry introduced Mary and Zohar to each other. Tension immediately fills in the room between these two women. When Zohar leaves the room, Barry and Mary kisses each other. Barry tells Mary that he posted a contact ad in the newspaper with the name MLH during breakfast. Mary scrapes the newspaper and looks for the advertisement. When she finds it, it memorizes the address provided. And there she sends a letter to Perry. In one of the letters, Mary tells Perry that she wants to be photographed in a sinful position. Perry agrees in the, with the Mary request and he decides to meet her. Perry starts taking pictures of Mary, initially her being fully clothed and gradually removes an article of clothes until she completely removes no clothes. Mary divulges the photograph and he calls Mary the fly on day. Mary visits Henry and Mary plays to surprise Mary. When Henry leaves the room, Mary and Mary kiss each other quickly. At night time, Mary is seen writing poetry. One day at Paris studio, Mary opens up to Mary about the idea of having another woman joining them. The idea does not sit well with Mary. And she says that Pierrot isn't contented with her. Mary asks if Perry has other mistress, and Perry says that he has. Mary gets 
heart about having this but she gets consoled by Barry immediately and the bee isn't worth it call. After several days, Mary goes to visit Perry at his place, but he isn't there. Mary decides to enter the room on her own, and she finds an album of photographs of women that Perry has taken. Perry continues to take pictures of Mary without her wearing any gloss. Mary asks Perry if she can have some of the photograph. Perry agrees. During one party, Mary sees Perry with so high, and she instant instantly get jealous. Henry noticed this, but he does not say anything. Mary tells Henry that she is not feeling well and she wants to go home. Henry says otherwise because a lot of people are watching. He tells her that they will leave discreetly later back in their home. Henry secretly opened Mary's drawer and he discovered the unclothed photograph of Mary. Henry should tears when he finds out about this. He confronts Mary about uh, this and he tells her that Perry does not love her. Henry adds that Perry is captivated by Zohar and shares her with other friends. Mary pushes Henry back and tells him that she does not love him. Mary visits Perry place and she sees Perry in front watching Zohar dosing in clothes. Mary immediately leaves without getting noticed. One night Perry tells Zohar that she needs to leave him. Zohar does not want and she tells Perry that he needs her. Perry gives Zohar money but the conversation ends in a huge fight. Eventually Zohar leaves the Perry's place. A few days late after Zohar confronts Mary and she blames her for getting kicked out of Perry's home. Mary tells Zohar that she is the one that Perry's love. The two women go to Perry's studio but Perry isn't there. Zohar begins to encourage Mary to have a sensual time with her. Eventually, they find themselves kissing each other. Zohar tells Mary that this is what Perry wants to see. Perry tells Henry that he has kicked out Zohar, but now he misses her. Henry advises him to follow Zohar in Algeria and learn about her passions because he clearly loves her. One day, Mary receives a letter from Perry. Uh, that says that he is going back to Algeria, but he wants her to keep on writing on him. Mary does not take this news very easily. She runs away and screams. Eventually, Mary falls down unspurred and she lies on her bed all day. Her sister Helene tries to cheer her up, but not no avail. Henry tells Mary's mother that Mary has been thinking about divorcing him. Mary's mother does not like this and encourages Henry to do everything to keep Mary inspired and act like her husband. Mary and Barry continue to write letters to each other as they express love for each other. Barry eventually returns to the Paris and he discovers that Mary and his friend Jean have been photographed each other inside his studio. Perry gets hurt with the discovery and he refuses to talk to Mary anymore. Mary tells Perry that she does not love Jean and he is her one true love, but Perry does not budge. Harry tells Perry that Mary is pregnant and he wants him to be one of the godfather. Harry says that if the child is a boy, they will name it Perry. Perry is greatly saddened. The news one day Perry joins Henry and Mary on a trip to the zoo. Perry delighted to see a couple's son. When Harry goes by his drink, Perry tells Mary how much he loves him. The conversation does not last as Henry does back immediately. Mm -hmm. Henry then talks to Perry about wanting to hear him and Mary makes love which Perry obliged as payment for everything that Henry does to him. Perry brings Henry to his room beside his so the and eventually Mary arrives. Perry and Mary proceed to make love as Henry even <coughs> stops from the nearby home. Henry is satisfied with everything and he is hearing. After a few days, Madame Dre Hiradia visits Mary and tells her that Henry has given her father a job, provided a house for Mary and tells her that Henry has given her father job for them. Madam also tells Mary that house is eyeing Perry as husband. Mary campaigns against this idea and says that Louise will be unhappy since Perry travels all the time. Perry will receive a letter saying to meet in the studio tomorrow morning at 4 o'clock. He gets excited about the letter. 
The next day, he reached inside the studio and opened the door to see Louis instead of Mary. Louis tells Perry that she wants to work for Perry as his catholic composition quickly escalates to Louis and Perry's kissing each other. The next day, Perry confronts Mary about sending Louis to a studio. Mary defends herself by saying that Perry could have resisted this temptation, but he did not. Mary adds that by giving in, Perry pretty much says that he wants to marry Louis. Perry tells Mary that he does not want to get married. Mary tells Perry that she loves him enough to share him. Mary continues to describe the things that can happen between them once Mary decided to marry Louis. Mary checks in with Henry and tells him that she has started writing and she says that it is a love story and she asks Henry if she wants to read her book to which he says yes. Perry gives a dory to Louis but significantly that he wants to marry her. Soon enough Mary and Louis see themselves posing together for Perry's photograph while developing the picture of Mary and Louis together. Perry explains that his eyes are getting strange. Louis takes care of his eyes. It appears that Perry has been diagnosed with Landoisy syndrome. It's being recommended for him to take hydrotherapy. Landoisy is a muscle atrophy disease which progressively gets worse from the face to shoulder and eventually lower body. Mary visits Perry and he tells her that he is now seeing everything from a different perspective. And he loves it. He adds that all the pictures he took are living with him, so all he needs to do is close his eyes for him to see the pictures. Mary talks with the bookstore owner, tells her that her book title, L. Constate, is selling like hotcakes. In his job, Mary delighted to hear about the success. Mary published the book under a pen name, and the buyers are thinking. That the writer is an old, bare, dull man, not a beautiful young woman. Mary says that everyone loves love stories. Mary Book talks about her experience with Perry, a great artist in the poor. The bookstore owner invites Mary to eat dinner with him tonight, but she politely declines. Mary walks home smiling. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notification, and leave a like. It really helps the channel. Thank you.